I'm Heather McDermott for Area TV. We launched Smoke for Mac about a year ago and we've had great success at bringing high quality editorial finishing to professional post-production markets around the world. But you may not know that Smoke is also finding success with a new generation of artists and editors just on the verge of starting their professional careers. Here at NAB 2011, we decided to take a deeper look at the opportunities Autodesk is providing to educators and schools that want to build a curriculum around professional editorial finishing with Smoke. The reaction from educators and students about having Smoke for Mac available in their schools has been phenomenal. This is the very first time this high-end creative finishing workflow has been accessible to students and teachers around the world. We're offering free trials for both students and teachers. We have great pricing for lab packs and they're able to bring this technology, this high-end film and TV technology, into their classroom. For example, they might have learned a little bit about compositing or color correction in some of their courses, but when they jump into Smoke, they're really jumping into this professional environment, this all-in-one workflow, and that's just going to help them find their first job after graduation. Autodesk sponsored the Broadcast Education Association event Tuesday evening at the Las Vegas Hilton. Autodesk's Stig Grumman kicked off the event with a keynote address about Autodesk initiatives for education. The event that we did last night was really great because it gave us an opportunity to introduce that group of uh, education folks to, uh, to give them a bit of an introduction to Autodesk and what we're all about, um, f you know, at a, at a high level in terms of the, the history and background of Autodesk, and then obviously do a deep dive on media entertainment, how committed we are to the education space. Uh, and I think great demonstrations of that commitment are our entertainment creation suite, uh, education version, which has just played to fantastic reviews and you know we, we are just blown away by the adoption we've enjoyed so far and also obviously to talk about smoke on the Mac and how excited we are about making that creative finishing offering effectively available to folks for the first time. Back in Montreal we spoke with Marcus von Holzendorf from the Mel Hoppenheim School of Cinema which is part of Concordia University. They've adopted Smoke for Mac as part of their film programs. And the beauty of, of having Smoke as part of our workflow is that it has the versatility to allow us to take in offline projects from these different diverse platforms, as well as being able to handle the multitude of formats that students are demanding and using actually from DSLR, uh, RED camera film, Super 16 and 35 transferred, um, as well as originating on video. You know, there's things like Photoshop and Illustrator, After Effects. These are sort of basic literacy things that students are required to have. And, and let's face it, anybody who wants to get into the industry has those, those needs to have those skills. This is a step above. It gives, it gives our students a competitive edge. Um, and it, it means that they can talk in the language uh, that the professionals use and understand workflows likewise. Uh, there's also the creative side, which I think is really interesting. I was always impressed that Smoke uh, users call themselves and are called Smoke artists. Being that we're an art school and we focus on the creative, we want tools, and um, including software tools, that foster and support creative work, not just technical. What can you do to get started with Smoke for Mac? Accessing the free 36-month student trial is a first step. The 36-month trial really allows students a good amount of time to dive into smoke. If they started learning smoke 2012, we don't want that trial to go away in six months or three months. So what we're offering is a three-year license. It can take them through their entire program, and that 36-month trial gives them the opportunity to really invest the time that it takes to learn to be an expert in something. So we're really excited um, to see that and, and to see the excitement within the film schools, within the TV and post-production schools about jumping in with Smoke and starting to learn it. Now that we know students are taking advantage of Smoke and taking their projects from a B to an A, we're expecting big things from the editorial finishing artists of tomorrow. Thanks for watching NAB 2011 on Area TV.